Dick Spring and Mary Harney will face each other in half an hour's time in the first television debate between the party leaders in the general election campaign. The Labour leader has said he'll be asking Ms Harney hard questions. The Progressive Democrat leader has again said she's certain her party will form the next government with Fianna Foyle. <laughs> Dick Spring re-emerged from Kerry this afternoon to issue a final go get him to his Dublin team and to prepare for tonight's TV debate. Since the election was called, opinion polls have brought little in the way of encouragement for Labour, especially in Dublin. But with no party achieving any real breakthrough, Dick Spring is sticking with the line that it's all to play for. Throughout the campaign, he has aimed his fire at PD policies. Even today, Labour has a new poster on the issue of public service job cuts. Well, we're now very confused because the manifesto issued by the PDs last Friday week said they were going to shed 25,000 jobs in the public service as a matter of priority. Obviously, the rendezvous in the Green Isle Hotel where Bertie Hearn met Mary Hearn said that was unacceptable. She now seems to be changing her mind. But we'll have another chance to clarify that this evening. He has also taken several swipes at Fianna Fáil leader Bertie Hearn, saying he has failed to answer important questions. Dick Spring himself encountered something of a banana skin with his comment that a vote for Sinn Féin is a vote for peace, words which were definitely not on the coalition's existing hymn sheet. He had one climb down on the issue of a debate with Mary Harney. As for major U-turns, there have been none yet, but some still believe the one to watch for is a change of heart over a PD Labour coalition. He says this isn't a runner. He's been well received on the hustings and managed to combine campaigning with his work in the north as Thonishta, an office the PDs say they will abolish. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and both Dick Spring and Mary Harney will be hoping to win voters out of tonight's head-to-head. -head. Preparing for the showdown in her Dublin home today, Mary Harney may have felt a psychological edge, given that Dick Spring only agreed to the debate last Thursday. Harney made it a central theme in the early stages of the campaign. The real election was about who the coalition partners would be, the PDs or Labour. But Labour delighted in a chance to pit Harney against Fianna Fáil's Mary O'Rourke. Spring said he would only debate with an agreed tarnishja in a potential Fianna Fáil-led coalition. That row failed to materialise. The early days were dull, but the taxation, currency and abortion issues were soon shouldered off centre stage by Harney's radical proposals to encourage single mothers to stay at home. We don't believe, for example, that single mothers should be encouraged to set up family units on their own. We believe that the state welfare system should encourage them to stay with their own families. Then there were the 25,000 public sector job cuts. The PDs were grabbing the headlines but sending Fianna Foyle into convulsions. A hastily arranged meeting between Harney and Bertie Ahern, combined with the PD efforts to tone down the two proposals, seemed to calm inter-party jitters. But it wasn't all sweetness and light. There were public mutterings by a dissenting Fianna Fáil TD about going into government with the PDs. He, in turn, earned a public rebuke from Ahern. In the polls, the PDs have only made significant gains in Dublin. And although one poll revealed significant support for the single mother's idea, Mary Harney's consistently high personal rating has in fact dipped. Tonight's debate could swing this increasingly tight election. With both parties desperately pitching for the floating vote, it should be an enthralling contest. The Fianna Fáil leader, Bertie Ahern, has said issues should be kept to the forefront in the final days of the campaign. Mr Ahern also said his party would provide open government if returned to power. On the June weekend when the whole system had to change. The Fianna Fáil leader began his day with an interview on the Pat Kenny radio show. Later on this, the start of the final few days of the campaign, Mr Ahern travelled to Galway. The party faithful were out in force, but the fine weather in Air Square brought many others to hear Mr Ahern's speech. We don't need a pane of glass, and particularly one that you can't see through, but we will be open. <laughs> As we head out into the last few days, keep the issues up front. We've developed the policies, developed the strategies. We didn't do it just with Fianna Fáil. We went the length of bread of this country, and we met the experts wherever they were. Mr Ahern has been strongly criticised by the government parties for the style of his campaign. But the Fianna Fáil organisers believe it's working for him. However, it remains to be seen if shaking hands can be turned into votes. And the Fianna Fáil leader had one other encounter today with his former colleague Moira Gagan Quinn, who this time round isn't on the hostings herself.